Welcome back students. Myself, Mrs. Felina Gonsalves, teacher of Shet Vidya Mandir English High School, Maharashtra Board, Basai. Today we are going to learn Chapter 5 of Science for Standard 6. The topic is Substance in the Surrounding, Their States and Properties. As we all know, there are three states of matter. There are solid, liquid and gaseous state. The state of a substance changes if it is heated or cool. Every substance in our surrounding is found in either the solid, liquid or in gaseous state. Now let's know about change of state of the substance. To understand this, let's do some activity. Take a piece of wax in a bowl and heat them on a candle or spirit lamp. Now observe the changes. How do the piece of wax change? What was the initial state of wax? What did it get converted into? Now keep the same bowl in cold water and observe what happens. From this we can find out that when the substance changes from one state to another, the process is called change of state of the substance. In the past, in 19th century, the scientist J. Willard Grip showed that its characteristic properties of a substance depend on its physical state and the arrangement of its particles in it. Now let's learn the difference between the states of substance. As we know there are three states of substance, solid, liquid and gaseous. Solid has a shape of its own which is retained. Retain means continue to hold. Whereas solid has a definite volume, form a hip. Hip is a large amount if emptied on the flat surface. For example, metal, pieces, sugar, salt, etc. Liquid. Liquid do not have shape of its own. It takes the shape of the container in which the liquid is kept. Liquid has a specific volume. If it is kept in a container, it occupies the shape of the container. But if it is spread on a flat surface, it starts flowing. For example, water, oil, milk. Whereas gaseous occupies all the available spaces as it does not have shape of its own. It does not have fixed volume. If kept under pressure, in a closed container, its volume changes. Example, air vapor. Now let's know about the change of state. Observe the picture below. We have already learned that change in physical state of a substance is an effect of the amount of heat in it. On gaining heat, the substance changes from solid to liquid and to liquid to gas. On the other hand, when its substance cools, or loses its heat, it change from gaseous to liquid and liquid to solid state. Now let's know about temperature and a thermometer. When a substance gets heat, it becomes warm and then hot. If we put our hand or finger in the water to judge how hot it is, but that is not an accurate measure. Besides, if the substance is very hot, we can even get a burn. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. Degree Celsius is the unit of measuring temperature. There are several types of thermometer available, but nowadays we use digital temperature as frequent use. know about boiling. As we all know, water evaporates continuously. If water is spilled on the flow, it dries up slowly on its own. When water is kept on a stove, attain a particular temperature or level of heat, that evaporation takes place in all the parts of the body of water. We can see bubbles rising faster to the surface and steam mixing in the air. This is called boiling of water. 
at sea level poor pure water boils at 100 degrees celsius this is the boiling point of water now let's do one activity take a thermometer from laboratory the bulb at its lower end is filled with mercury the mercury rises to a certain level you will see a scale next to the mercury column read the figure near the level of the mercury and note the temperature of air around the bulb of the thermometer now hold thermometer in water so that the bulb is completely image in the water and now read the temperature of the water do this activity taking some hot water in one vessel and cold water or ice in another now no temperature condensation when water evaporates cools it converted into water again this process is known as condensation Condensation of steam also take place at hundred degrees Celsius. It means that the boiling point and condensation point of water are one and the same. Now let's know about freezing. The water is kept in a fridge or on ice becomes cooler and cooler. That is, the temperature falls. At a certain temperature. water does not get any cooler but start freezing and form ice the temperature at which this happen is called the freezing point of water the temperature of a substance can fall below 0 degree celsius example the temperature of air in the freezer of a refrigerator is around minus 18 degree celsius Now let's know about melting. When ice get heat, it start melting or changes into liquid state. Ice melt at zero degree Celsius. It means that freezing point and melting point of water are one and the same. Each substance has a specific boiling point, which is also its condensation point, and each substance has a specific melting point, which is same as its freezing point. Now let's know about various uses of changes in physical state. Candles are made by melting paraffin wax. Solid carbon dioxide that is dry ice is used to make ice cream and to keep it frozen. Liquid nitrogen is used in animal husbandry. Sand that is silica is melted to make glass. metals like gold and silver are melted to make ornaments even iron is melted to make tools now let's know about sublimation to understand this let's do some activity take some sand in a crucible put a few iodine crystal on it place the crucible on a tripod to heat it block the stem of the funnel with a cotton plug and place it inverted over the crucible light the burner and heat the mixture in the crucible and now observe changes iron crystal do not melt on heating but change directly to the gaseous state when the flame of the iron hit the wall of the funnel they cool to form solid crystal of iodine and stick to the funnel wall thus on heating iodine does not melt and change to a liquid but directly changes to gaseous state therefore the change of a solid substance directly into a gas or a vapor without changing into a liquid is called sublimation now let's understand properties of a substance the first one is brittleness what will happen if pressure is applied on a substance like chalk brick alum glass 
this substance will break into small pieces or particles the substance are said to be a brittle this property of substance is called brittleness the second one is hardness now take an iron nail try to peel a cardboard sheet wet mud and a piece of wood using the nail what will happen the nail will easily pierce wet mud but not piece of wood it can peel the cardboard sheet with some effort why does this happen the hardness of a substance is determined by how much resistance it offers to the substance being pushed through it the next one is elasticity just take stretch a rubber band and let it go or apply pressure on a piece of sponge and release it what will you see that a rubber band and sponge go back to its original shape some substance change their shape when a force applied on them but return back to their original shape and size when the force is removed this property is called elasticity the fourth one is purity just take a flat metal sheet of the size of a notebook hold it at an angle put a drop of water honey and gum at different places on the board observe what how they flow down liquid flows downward on a sloping surface this property is called fluidity the fluidity of any liquid is determined by how easily it is flowed the next one is density if two blocks of the same size one wooden and the other of iron are weighted in a balance how would they compare the mass of different substance having the same volume can be different this difference is because of the difference in their density between sub substance of the same volume the ones with greater density are heavier than those of the lesser density the sixth one is solubility just take a glass of water add some salt fine sand and sugar to it and try to dissolve it repeat this replacing water with kerosene what will you observe some solid substance is dissolved in a particular liquid if a salt does not dissolve in liquid it is said to be insoluble salt is a soluble in water but insoluble in kerosene you know of many beverage made by using water and solid soluble substance the property of substance of getting dissolved is called as solubility Now let's know about transparency. When we can look through a substance and see things on the other side, then that substance is said to be transparent. This property of substance is called transparency. Glass, some types of plastic, green water, and air are transparent substance. Now let's know about properties of metal. What is metal? Substance like copper, gold, iron, aluminium are called metal. Metal are found in the form of minerals deep inside the earth. Minerals from the earth crush are processed to obtain the metal. Even in daily life, metal have various importance. So let's know about the common properties of metal. The first one is malleability. Just take a piece of copper or aluminium wire or a small nail. Hammer it continuously. On hammering, the wire becomes flat. That is, it is in the form of a thin sheet. Metals can be converted into sheet by hammering. This property of metal is called malleability. The next one is ductility. just take a hot iron hammer and made into a thin sheet even look in visit a blacksmith shop 
Iron bars made to involve continuously while being hammered become longer. The iron can be drawn into a wire. Metal can be stretched and drawn into wire. This property of metal is called ductility. Metals like silver, gold, copper can be drawn into fine wire. The third one is electrical conductivity. Electricity flows through metals. All the metals are conductor of electricity to a greater or lesser extent. This property is called electrical conductivity. The fourth one is thermal conductivity. Even when a piece of a metal is heated at one place, the whole of it becomes hot. It shows that metals allow heat to flow through them. This property is called thermal conductivity. Now let's know about solidity. Plug the string of a musical instrument like tambura, veena, and ring a bell or heat a sheet box with a metal spoon and strike a wooden table or a marble floor with a wooden stick. Observe the difference between the sound. Metal produce a ringing sound. This property is called sonority of metal. The last one is characteristic color and lecture. Metal have a typical shine or lecture. Every metal have characteristic color by which it can be identified. Copy down the following assignment. Thank you for watching the video.